Okay, so another super highly anticipated motorcycle mark for the Intermot show is the Indian FTR 1200 motorcycle. Uh, brand new in. Um, obviously, Indian have been really dominating the flat tracking scene for quite some time now. And this is really taking a lot of the styling cues, a lot of the inspiration from that scene and bring it into a proper motorcycle that just looks the dogs for me. It, you know, I it, love it. It, it does, I think. I think probably fair to say it's not a quintessential flat tracker but it no. is a, it's been a hugely anticipated motorcycle um and, and quite a long time in coming to be fair you know yeah. there's been a lot of talk a lot of rumor a lot of speculation in the press about what what we were actually going to get and, and in yeah. fairness that they've remained fairly true to the concept there's an ftr 750 race bike over there and what they've deliberately done is placed one of these next to it and you've got to say the it silhouette looks so there, there, is yeah. a, there are a huge number of similarities yeah. I, and I, the other thing that strikes me um which i think is hugely important is it does look like a true production bike yes you know, it looks really well it finished um and I, I i had some misgivings about that you know this is a, this is a big step away from what india normally do yeah you know we all know what they do in fairness you know they've done a great job in in the uk particularly yeah with the Scout, with the Scout Bobber. They are very successful bikes and they've been able sure. to build on that in the UK market. But this is a hugely important bike in terms of cracking UK and Europe yeah. in a much more significant way. And I've got to say, they've made a great job of it. I think they have too. I mean, it's a beautiful bike. It's obviously, it's a 1200cc, it's 120 horsepower. Yeah, which again, you know, it, so, I mean, it's going to be really interesting to see how it compares yeah. when they stand it up against the equivalent bikes in the market. Starts at 11,500, I think, for the standard thousand. bike. This is the S version. Yeah, okay, so, so it it's comes a bit with, more money. So uh, I think we were talking, it's got digital display. TFT display, it's got uh, Bluetooth connectivity. Um, which and is a just, USB connection. And a USB connection, which is just um, absolutely awesome. Well, um, it's a modern bike. It's a super modern bike. But yeah, I mean. It's got traction control, switchable traction control. It's got ABS yes. brakes. Yeah. It's got Brembo brakes. So, you know, it's a bit of a lump, this bike. I mean, it's 220 kilos, yeah. 220 odd kilos. So, you know, it, it needs decent brakes. And, you know, I think he's going to live up to it with the well, it's uh, not, it's not, it's not the lightest bike, bike in that kind of segment. I mean, it's difficult to place. You know, is it is it a middle weight? Is it a super naked? It's probably somewhere in the middle of those. At 220 kilos, it's on the heavier side. But, yeah. you know, you're going to, you know that this motor is going to produce of, The centre of gravity is nice, nice and low, yeah. isn't it? But, you know, uh, you can tell that. Well, the, the, the great thing with these kind of lumpy motors is it will make it will make monster torque. Although, oh. I mean, the, 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 uh, the horsepower figure is actually quite a lot higher than I was expecting it to be. Is it? I've got to be honest, you know, 120 sounds pretty juicy yeah it does I, yeah I'm, I'm i'm kind of you know close to salivation at this point <laughs> I, i'd like to have a little play out on these and, and i do think uh, you know the styling is important and of course it's a crucial part of you know of the appeal of any motorcycle but when you when you pit yourself in this market you're talking about bikes like bmw s1000i you talk about aprilia tuono you talk about mt09 mt10 R90. yeah r9t kawasaki z9 z1000 you know there are that is such a competitive marketplace so it, yeah. if it rides as well as it looks it could you know, do really it well. It could do very, very well. Do you yeah. know, and just as well, you know, while I'm looking at it, they've done such a nice job with the rear end on this bike. I'm a sucker for this. Just a completely yeah. clean cut rear seat. I, I mean, you know, the architecture around this, it's very, very difficult to make this look super sexy. But for me, I absolutely love having that. Yeah, I no, do. No I rear do. hugger, no nothing, just a rear light. I mean, I've got to be honest, you know, Euro floor legislation does mean you end up with a set of rear cans that aren't the sexiest things in the world, but I know having been around yeah, the stand there is... I've seen worse. There, well, there, uh, there is a bike here, I think, with Akrapovic on it, and it does look better just over there. Um, I, you know, there's going to be a load of aftermarket solutions for that. If somebody looks at that and thinks, ah. And, and, it, and, it, and it a nice look tail big. tidy as well on it, Mark. Well, you, you wouldn't exhaust, need it. Ni nice well, meh, maybe, maybe you will, maybe you won't, but you know, imagine if you got rid of that and change the exhaust. No like, touching, by were, the way, Aaron. We've been yeah, told okay. you're not allowed to touch the bike. Okay. But, you know, I think this is a phenomenal machine. Yeah. Super excited for this one, and I think it's going to get highly acclaimed, assuming that it rides the way it loves. Yeah, you're, you're not wrong.